Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. I have a Candles by Victoria haul. This is one of two hauls. The second one is on its way to me, but if you have been around the channel for 10 plus years, you know that I have been ordering from Candles by Victoria for years and years and years. Candles by Victoria is a small family-owned business in Van, Texas, which from what I understand, is right outside of Dallas, Texas. I've never been to Texas, so I don't know all the areas, but I have been ordering from Victoria for years. Now, I talk a lot about vendor wax, vendor wax on my YouTube channel, which you go on a Facebook group, you sign up for restocks, they do pre-orders. When a restock happens, things sell out super fast. It's Hunger Games. Take everything you know about vendor wax, throw it out the window. Victoria has been doing this for 25 years. No pre-orders, no restocks. If you want to order a Christmas scent in July, you can. If you want to order a fall candle in March, you can. You can order anything from her website at any time, and it is all made to order, which is awesome. Nothing is sitting on a shelf. So if you want a big three-wick candle in peanut butter cup, you can order it online, she'll place, you'll get that order, she'll print out your invoice, and she will pour that candle fresh for you. Now, because they're freshly poured, you don't have to. I personally like to let, like to let the candles sit for about two weeks before I burn them to let them cure. If you're new to curing wax, essentially, when you buy a candle from a store, it's naturally cured. They've poured it, they've shipped it, it's been shit sitting... Oh, it's been sitting on a shelf for a good while, so it's ready to go. Where when you're buying a handmade product, it does take a little bit of time for the fragrance oils and the wax to cure. So it's essentially going to get stronger. The wax, it's going to settle into its vessel and you're just going to get a really great performance. Now, again, curing is subjective. If you start burning one of her candles and you feel like it isn't strong enough, let it sit for a week, light it up again, guarantee it'll get a little stronger for you. Now, because things aren't made to order, she doesn't have a storefront, but again, you can order anything you want on her website, and there's over a thousand fragrances to choose from. Now, with every order, you get a free little scent shot. Now, these might look familiar. Lots of companies have done scent shots. Victoria is the original scent shot. She came up with this idea 25 years ago. And in every order, you actually get a free scent shot. So if you're very curious and you want to start, but you're not sure what candles to purchase, get a couple scent shots. I got a good amount here, you know, of scents that I've tried in the past and I want it again, or I wanted to try new ones before I got bigger candles in them, which a couple of these I actually just ordered for her Christmas in July sale. She did like a pick your own sale where if you spend a certain amount, you got a certain percent. Once you hit 125, you got free shipping and 20%. I hit the threshold. I got a good amount of stuff. It's actually coming tomorrow, but I'm going on vacation, so it won't be uploaded until probably next week sometime. But anyway, I have a good amount of scent shots. I have a new product, Squeezy Wax, and I have a couple candles to get through. I printed out the scent descriptions because she does not have scent notes on her wax. And without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start with the free scent shot. So like I said, you get a free scent shot in every order. It is two ounces of scented wax. Now you can pop the entire thing into a warmer. Some people find that you can even just cut them in half or in a quarter and pop it in your warmer and they will scent your house a couple days. I mean, I'm telling you, her scents are so strong. She triple scents everything. So the maximum scent load in a candle, it is crazy. So just take some pressure, pop them out. They pop out just like this. You can see it's very soft wax. Cause again, there's so much scent oil in here. And my free scent shot was in cold December night right there, two ounce scent shot. And the description is sugared spruce and sweet snow. Now, if you're looking at her scent descriptions and you see something that says a CAS, that means a create a scent. So Victoria has options on her website where you can actually blend two fragrances that you want 
to make your own fragrance. And sometimes if the fragrance is really great or super popular, she'll add it to her permanent website. So this fragrance happens to be a create a scent of sugared spruce and sweet snow. And I'm telling you, this is like a super Christmas tree scent. Like a rich Christmas tree with that sweet snow fragrance. It's almost like a little bit of a body care scent. Nothing that I would ever order, but really, really nice. I'm going to pop this in, in the drawer and let this cure and have it melt it for Christmas time. All right. <clears throat> the first one, I'm actually going to go, because these are not alphabetical, I'm just going to go by my sheet here. The first one I have is Nutty Peach Crumble, and this is a fun orange wax. I've already been popping them out and sniffing them. Oh, Spoiler, I ordered this in a big candle in my next order. It is buttered popcorn, granny's pie crust, and peach preserves. Now, I love Victoria's granny's pie crust. You will see something pretty massive in my next haul in granny's pie crust. I've been ordering that fragrance from Victoria for years. You would think a basic pie crust fragrance isn't going to be like this incredible scent. Oh, it is. It is this rich buttery pie crust and when you burn it it is such a strong fragrance blended with buttered popcorn and peach preserves it is so yummy you smell that popcorn you smell that buttery rich sweet salty popcorn oh my gosh and you smell the peach preserves this is amazing i love it if you like peachy fragrances definitely give this a shot i think it's going to be super super strong Next, I ordered Trick or Treat, and this is Caramel Corn and Buttercream Crunch, and it says another customer favorite. This is nice. Buttercream Crunch is actually Victoria's man, um, Matt. There's Victoria, Matt, Chelsea, and Wade. They're a family, and they run Candles by Victoria. That is one of Candleman Matt's favorite fragrances, Buttercream Crunch, mixed with Caramel Corn. This is super sweet. If you like sweet, buttercreamy, rich, decadent frosting fragrances, Buttercream Crunch is it. Wow, this is a strong one. All right, next, oh, I just love the name, The Headless Horseman. I am ready for fall and holiday. It says, we had a little scent contest on our Facebook group page. I will actually link her Facebook group down below. We asked our customers to give us a tried and true scent combination that they've mixed and loved from two of our existing fragrances. Rachel's combination of Bonfire Pumpkin and Sleepy Hollow was a winner in our book. Oh, this is nice. It is a very smoky, rich pumpkin. That Bonfire Pumpkin is in the forefront. It is like a, like a true bonfire, like you're out in a bonfire. Mixed with a hint of that sweet, warm pumpkin. Oh, and I'm not sure what Sleepy Hollow is, but it almost smells like a patchouli type of scent. Ooh, like a patchouli halloween -y scent. Oh, yum. Okay, this is really nice. It's more bakery than I thought it would be. Probably from that pumpkin of the bonfire pumpkin. Ooh, I cannot wait to pop this in the warmers. And her scents truly come alive when you put them in the warmer. So I am very excited about that one. This is a favorite. Pumpkin apple cinnamon bread I ordered again. Sweet creamy pumpkin, rich cinnamon apple with a crunchy strudel base. And yes, this is yummy. This is pumpkin. This is a apple. This is rich cinnamon bread. Oh, it's decadent, rich, and warm. If you like a quintessential fall set, I did get this in a candle in my other order. Oh, I love. This is so great. I'm so ready for fall. So ready for fall. Next, oh, Ferris Wheel Treats. And this is a fun purple color. Like, look at that bright purple wax there. We have a yummy blend of buttered popcorn, funnel cake, and fair day. Oh, oh, this is a carnival scent. Oh, this is carnival. I'm not getting as much buttered popcorn as I was in the other fragrance. I'm definitely getting that funnel cake, like a cotton candy, caramel apple. This is like a royal purple. I love. Oh, this is so nice. 
Oh, this is yummy. I love a carnival scent. Like, in Bath and Body Works, like, Summer Boardwalk and Berry Waffle Cone are some of my favorite summer scents because they're bakery. I love those bakery scents. I love those warm scents. I love things that you can eat. This smells like a summer bakery. Funnel cake. Caramel apples. All that deliciousness. If you like those fragrances from Bath and Body Works, you've got to try this one. Now... Her daughter, Chelsea and Wade, were on Facebook Live a few weeks ago, and she was talking about Frosted Cinnamon Roll being a new favorite of hers, and this just sounded so yummy. So we have Cinnabon and Pink Cupcake. Oh, this is nice. It's crazy because the both of them almost enhance each other. Like, the Cinnabon is that rich, like, Cinnabon Cinnabon, like a cinnamon bun. And pink cupcake is more like a sweet candied cupcake. But it almost makes it smell like it has that cream cheese frosting. Like that rich, decadent, gooey, like sticky fingers. Cream cheese icing. Oh, I love cream cheese frosting on a cinnamon bun. And this is the ultimate cinnamon bun. <sighs> Yummy. I cannot wait to start melting these ones. Next, we have... Let me see here. Where is it? Right here. Apple cinnamon butter. As you can see, I was super ready for fall with this order. And the next one is even more. Now, okay, so this one, oh, there we go. Pop this guy out. Rich, warm cinnamon with bakery notes of apple butter, just like grandma used to make. This one is a yummy fragrance that will transport you back in time. And yeah, it does. And okay, can we focus on the fragrance oils here? Let's see if it'll focus. Look, do you see how shiny the fragrance oils are in here? Her thing, her scent shots and her candles are strong. And any of them, you can order in any form. Any fragrance on her site, you can get in car scents, in laundry soap, in body spray, body oil, candles, wax melts, you name it. Oh, this does. It smells just like apple butter. I love apple butter and I love pumpkin butter in the fall. I mean, let's face it, there's really not any type of fall deliciousness that I don't like in the fall. Any delicious fall treat. But this one, it smells just like apple butter. If you like apple butter, homemade apple butter that you get at like a fair or, you know, a farm, this is your girl, apple butter, apple cinnamon butter. All right. Next, because Victoria not only has incredible bakery scents, she also has dupe fragrances. So we have Lost Cherry Tom Ford type. And it says, Black Cherry's ripe flesh dripping in cherry liqueur glistens with a teasing touch of bitter almond. The heart bursts forth in cherry waves of sweet and tart. Grote syrup expresses the textured maceration of voluptuous fruits, while breathtaking florals of Turkish rose and jasmine penetrate the senses. Peru balsam and roasted tonka in the dry down. An unexpected blend of sandalwood, vetiver, and cedar finish this fantasy-inspired scent. Long scent description. It smells just like Tom Ford Lost Cherry. If you know that fragrance, this is it. It's a rich cherry. Like, but not cough syrup or candy cherry, like the Tom Ford Lost Cherry Cherry Fragrance. So, we have that one there. Speaking of dupes, I have Baccarat Rouge 540 type. A lustrous and enlightened fragrance of amber floral and a woody base, woody breeze. Jasmine and saffron rest tenderly on top of a blend of cedar and fir, make up the heart of the accord, and finally... The ambergris gives it both the warm and cool woody floral whisper. This is so nice. This is so nice. If you like Baccarat Rouge 540, Ariana Grande Cloud, all those things, that's exactly what this smells like. And these, this and the Tom Ford Lost Cherry are like the ultimate bedroom type scent. So that's where I will be melting those in my bedroom. Now this one Granny Smith Sugary Cider Donuts. The name is so long, it barely fits on the label. Our house blend of green apple, mulled cider, and sugary donut. Mm-mm, good, it says. I regret not ordering this in my last order. It's okay. I just will place another one. This, this is fall. I go to this place called Shaker Woods every single year in the fall. It's like a huge craft fair in Ohio. I love it there. 
and they make homemade cider donuts. And this smells just like going to Shaker Woods. It instantly takes me back walking up to the stand and getting those hot, fresh cider donuts. And they have to be hot too. Oh, delish. Oh, I love it. Fall just brings a smile to my face. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I love fall. Next, crisp fall day. Now I do know that I ordered this one in a candle in the next order. Sweater weather and apples and oaks. So this is another customer create a scent. Now it's so interesting to me because I know I just stated in my last video, sweater weather is not my favorite scent, but somehow mixed with the apples and oaks, I absolutely love this. It takes the elements that I don't like of sweater weather and gets rid of them. Like the apple and the oak wood fragrance enhances the things that I do like about sweater weather and tones down the things that I don't. Like the juniper, the berry. Oh, this is so nice. This is a crisp fall day. This is, I still want a fall fragrance. I don't want anything warm and heavy. I have the windows slightly open and there's a slight breeze coming through the window. This is it. Crisp fall day. So really like that one. Now this one, I couldn't remember if I ordered before glazed sticky apples. I don't like this one. Caramelized pralines and apple jack and orange peel. I love caramelized pralines from Victoria. It's such a great scent. Mixed with the apple jack and orange peel, it's almost just too spicy. I definitely pick up more on the apple jack and orange peel fragrance than caramelized pralines, and it's just a little too much for me. So we'll see how it goes in the warmer, but right now it's my least favorite out of the order. If you like that spiced orange scent, though, I think you will really like it. Next, we have peach cinnamon strudel pie. And this is peach preserves and cinnamon strudel, rich and creamy with a hint of sweet cinnamon and a crusty bakery note. Yummy, it says. Oh, yeah. If you've tried the nutty peach crumble or you love a peach scent and you don't want anything else, this is like a peach pie. Like, if you eliminated peach, if you eliminated cinnamon strudel and just called it peach pie, I'd be like, yes, this is a peach pie. Those fresh, ripe peaches that aren't too soft, they're still a little hard, so they give you a texture. With the buttery pie crust, oh, this is nice. I'm almost wondering if I blend the peach cinnamon strudel pie with Granny's pie crust to give, like, even more peach pie. Ooh, listen. Victoria does an incredible peach. A lot of the times, peach fragrances come across cat urine from certain places, not Victoria. Her peach is incredible. Her peach and her apple. Blueberry Patch. Now, this is one of the original fragrances from 25 years ago from Victoria. Chelsea was talking about it on the live, and I was like, have I tried Blueberry Patch? I mean, it is the original scent that is still currently offered, because if you figure oil companies go out of business, things happen, inflation, things leave, things come back, this scent has stood the test of time. So... I had to try it. It says, a fresh, yummy, straight blueberry without the cobbler. One of my favorites. Yeah, this is a blueberry. This is like, put a wick in here. It's a blueberry candle. I love this. I feel like I need to get a candle in this for nostalgia factors. If you like blueberry and you don't want any spice, any bakery, any perfumey, you're like, I just want a blueberry candle. Give me a blueberry candle. This is it. Yum. Two more. Next, I have Butter Pecan Waffle. I had this before, and I melted it so fast. I was like, yeah, I need to order another one. Ah, if you enjoy pumpkin pecan waffles, like from Bath & Body Works, but you want it toned down a little bit on the pumpkin, or want to justify burning it all year long without the name pumpkin, this is it. This scent will awaken your taste buds and have you drooling for an old-fashioned waffle breakfast with a blend of vanilla, waffle, and nutty butter. Lick the airworthy. This is incredible. It is. It's a rich, warm Belgian waffle with whipped maple butter, maple syrup, the whole nine yards. And I ordered this in a jumbo candle in my next order. Listen, 
fall in a jar. Well, and there's a couple fall in a jars. That is one of them. And then the last scent shot that I got before I move on to the other things is caramel bourbon. An incredible combination of buttery caramel, vanilla, dark oud wood, and aged bourbon whiskey. I'll be honest, I don't really smell a ton of whiskey or bourbon in here, but it's really pretty. Victoria was burning this candle in a couple of her lives. She goes live every Sunday in her Facebook group and on YouTube. I'll link all of her socials down below. Give her a follow. This, she was burning this in one of the 16 ounce candles and it's been burning so clean. Her candles burn so clean if you take care of them, but we'll get into that. Yeah. And I was like, caramel bourbon, that sounds delicious. I would, I would burn a candle in this. This is nice. I think the bourbon notes will come alive a little more when you burn them. So I want to give them a try whenever that happens. All right. Now let's move on to squeezy melt. So I've been seeing these all over TikTok, like TikTok lives. And I was like super intrigued. And then when I saw Victoria started making squeezy melts, I said, okay, if I'm going to try them from anywhere, I'm going to try them from Victoria. So we have this packet right here. Now this is her 16 ounce. She did recently just come out with an eight ounce as well. So it's a little bit smaller. These retail for $16.50. Looks like you get a lot of wax in here. And I got it in, it's going to be hard to see, pumpkin pecan waffles. So this will be my first time doing this. Do I have, okay. So I just have an empty Scentsy warmer and we are going to unscrew it. We're going to try this together. Now I've never tried this before, but these are the squeezy melts. Victoria's Wax, she does not recommend you melt her scent shots in Scentsy warmers. You can if you want to, but... Scentsy warmers are designed, obviously, for Scentsy wax. So wax that is less, it Scentsy wax is softer. It takes a lot less heat for you to produce a scent. Well, Victoria doesn't formulate for Scentsy wax. So she created other options for you, like scoopable wax, you know, different forms of wax that have a lower melt point. Squeezy wax is one of them. So let me try. You're just supposed to squeeze it out. I'm going to put it in the dish here squeeze it out oh my gosh look at that it's just coming right out of there i don't want to do too much because i am leaving for vacation tomorrow oh okay that's super fun look at that kind of looks like a little you know a little carrot or a little turd right there but oh and this is pumpkin pecan waffles it smells so good and then you can just put the cap back on and call it a day. As you can see, obviously, I would put a little bit more than this in the warmer, but I assume this is going to last you such a long time. And, you know, break it up, give it a little, it has a lot of texture to it. So break it up, give it a little bit of warmth before you squeeze it in. But oh, this looks super fun. I cannot wait to play with this and mix, mix sets a little bit. So I got pumpkin pecan waffles. I got a smaller one in granny's pie crust which i told you i love granny's pie crust this oh the ultimate pumpkin or the ultimate pie crust scent i'm telling you if you try one fragrance from victoria try granny's pie crust and don't just let you use it on cold melt it warm it burn it however you do it experience granny's pie crust it will change your life. And I also got some of these scents because say caramel bourbon is yummy, but I want a little pie crust. Squeeze a little bit of pie crust in with the wax. See? And then I got a hot pink wax in pink and lime. Pink and lime is such a great fragrance. Pink and lime, I actually have in my car right now, which I'll explain. It's her pink sugar, the Aqualina pink sugar dupe and lime. There is some magic when you blend pink sugar and lime together that is transformative. Like, it is addictive. I need to order a jumbo candle in it, but I figured for now, since summer is slowly going away, emphasis on slowly, I am still surrounded by 90 degree weather and it's killing me. So I figured an eight ounce squeezy will get me through the summer and then I can order a jumbo candle. Now, speaking of, I was saying car fragrances, I ordered two of these car fragrances, one's in my car now, and this is 
in. I have the car one in pink and lime now. And I ordered this one for when it's done in none other than pumpkin pecan waffles. Now, what you do is you unscrew this wooden cap. There is a stopper on the top of here so it doesn't leak in transit. Take some scissors, pop that out, screw the wooden base back, and then use this little, it looks like a little shoelace. Put this on your rear view mirror, give this a little tie, and then you can adjust the bead, you know, so it's a little bit more secure. And then you dump the oil bottle until the cap starts to have a little bit of oil and then drop it. Eventually that oil will just start diffusing and about once a week, just tilt the bottle into the cap. And again, it'll scent your car. Now it's been super hot in here or in the car this week. So mine has actually been sucking up oil pretty quick, I assume because it's so hot. But every time I walk in the car, or get in the car, it smells so strong like I'm burning a candle. So really recommend them. Excited for the pumpkin pecan waffles when it gets warmer. But right now I am loving the pink and lime. Now speaking of candles, I ordered just two candles from Victoria, obviously with a name like Candles by Victoria. She has to do candles great, right? Now, Victoria does something very unique that I don't see a lot of candle companies using. I'm gonna try to zoom in here. Do you see that little black piece of metal running through the wick there? It's called a zinc core wick. Now, it's not lead. Lead wicks are illegal in the US. This is a zinc core wick. The reason why she uses zinc core wicks is they have a very strong wick. They stay upright the entire candle. They're not going to flop over. They're not going to drown in the wax. They're a really strong, secure wick. Because of that, candle maintenance is a must. You must trim the wick to an eight to a quarter to an eighth of an inch before every single burn. Now, she does trim the wicks before they ship out to you, but eventually the wax does sink. So trim it before the first burn. Trim it to a quarter of an inch. Use toenail clippers. Use a wick trimmer. However you can, give that wick a nice trim and let the candle burn an hour for every inch in diameter. So for this size candle, I burn this about two hours minimum, no more than four. After four hours, extinguish the candle, let the wax solidify. Maybe the next day, come back, trim the wick, light it again your candle will burn clean every single time. There's been a lot of brands lately that are self-trimming. You don't have to trim all the time. Victoria's candles, you must trim them every single time. I'm telling you, they will burn so, so clean for you. I've been burning this pumpkin pecan waffles for about three weeks now, or three weeks now, about three times now, and look at that burn. It's clean. There's a little bit of sludge on the side, but that's normal. Most candles do that. But it is burning super clean. I trimmed the wick. It's ready for the next time. This candle will burn down all the way. Nice and clean for you. If you notice it's sooting or smoking a little bit, extinguish the candle, trim it again. It will burn clean for you every single time, you guys. And this pumpkin pecan waffles heaven. Oh, I love. It smells just like the Bath and Body Works Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. If you love it, you know it's heaven. And then this guy I got in Pink Bubblegum Pink Bubblegum Crush. It's a dupe for Lush, if you're familiar with. They had a fragrance very similar to this. It's pink. It's like pink bubblegum. It's sweet. It's pink. It's girly. It's fun. Totally not my wheelhouse. However, this brings me back to the good old days of when Lush was a great company. They had lots of cool stuff. And this smells just like the original candy fragrances that they used to have. Oh, I love it. It's pink. It's girly. It's fun. So, and these are her 16 ounce country jars. She offers little jars, big jars, four wick jars, a big pumpkin. She has a big four wick candle called a big Bertha, which is actually on its way to me. I cannot wait. I got a big Bertha in granny's pie crust and a big four wick candle in pumpkin pecan waffles. So, very excited to get my hands on those when they come in the mail. Yeah, lots of good stuff. She does fun bakery candles that are different. They have like ice cream scoops and waffles. Just check out her website. You could literally spend hours looking at all the things Victoria has on her website. So I've been talking for a half an hour. 
I need to take a sip of water. Let me know if you've tried Candles by Victoria, what you think. I absolutely love them and excited to see what else Victoria has up her sleeve. I'll link all her socials down below. As always, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys. Bye.